in today video we are going to resume our workshop here so units are in inches go to sketch and open the front plane for this base feature the first feature we are going to use the revolve command so for the requirement of the revolve command we basically needed a half sketch of the profile so first of all i am going to draw center line this line will be my a reference line for the revolve feature so our sketch will be revolve around this reference line and it will make a 3d object and select the line tool and i am going to draw a random sketch a rough sketch according to the profile and after that we can dimension it Just auto drag it and finish the sketch on this point. So, this is just a rough sketch with the possible uh, relation or constraint. These are added here. We can edit these uh, in relation if you want, if some relation is not uh, according to the drawing. So, first of all, I am going to define the dimensions for the length. So this dimension is given as 0.5 and dimension from this point to this point this dimension is given as 5.25 okay so it's it's making changes in the in our rough sketch so we are going to drag it in that direction so again we will have the sketch according to the profile and other way is that if you want to uh, avoid some uh, random changes in your sketch first you have to put a bigger dimension okay and next dimension is from this line to this line the distance between them is 4.625 okay and now we add the diameter dimension for this shaft so how we can add the diameter dimension we select this line and this reference line if you want to put the dimension as a diameter dimension if you move above to the uh, reference line it will show in the radius form but if you move below below to this reference line it will show in the in the form of diameter dimension so this dimension is given as one and this length of this line is 0.25 okay now we are going to define the dimension dimension for this line and for this one select this line and this central line we put our diameter dimension this is 0.1 then define a dimension for this line select this line and this Central line this dimension is given as 0.625. Next, we have to define the dimension between this and this. This dimension is actually we can add the thickness of this one. So this dimension is given as 0.063 and the length is given as 0.063 so the diameter dimension for this line which is showing in the blue that means this and we have to de define this dimension or we have to add a uh, relation between this uh, uh, this this line and this line or this point and this point so we are going to add a relation i am going to select this point i want this point and this point on a horizontal uh, line or uh, horizontal to make them horizontal so these two must be in front of each other like they are horizontal okay now this sketch is fully defined the meaning of the fully defined is that now we don't need it any other 
convention to define this sketch so exit this sketch go to the feature command and select the revolve make sure you selected this sketch and click revolve command it will automatically detect the uh, reference center line which we draw in this sketch so solid will know that uh, it have to define the uh, 3d model on this center line or a reference line so check it we don't need it to define any other thing uh, the whole sketch is revolving around the 360 degree click ok so this is our base uh, base step we can say it a base feature so basically in solid work we have to select the first uh, the first feature must be a base feature meaning that feature on which we work in the in, in next in the coming steps to complete the whole design so the first um, the feature is always a base feature you have to study the drawing read the drawing and make sure you draw a base feature uh, a feature on which you draw the other uh, relevant uh, information of the drawing or the uh, other commands or you can say the step hope so you understand that so this is our base feature we we will work uh, on this in this uh, feature to add the other information on the design so next one is that we have to make a cut here uh, i'm going to select the sketch and it will ask on which plane we want to make the sketch i'm going to select the front plane and i ha i have to draw a rough sketch like that and we we have to define the dimension so for this overall length it's given as uh, 1.375 the position dimension from this line to this region is given as 2.75 we have to add the fillets the radius of the fillets is 0.25 add a fillet one fillet here and one fillet here and exit this sketch now we define the uh, remaining dimension so from th this point to this edge this dimension is given as 0 0.094 okay and from this point and uh, this point to this this dimension is given as 0.25 this is just a dimension 0.25 is just a dimension we fully define this sketch so basic uh, idea is that we want to make the cut uh, throughout this this edge so that's why we just uh, add this dimension to make it uh, above from this edge we can uh, add 0 0.2 0 0.2 just to make sure that this dimension must be enough so we can cut this edge so this is the idea for this dimension we can keep it 0 0.25 or we can add it uh, one anything we can add it just the main idea that it must uh, go through this edge so just to make the sketch uh, uh, good or uh, we just make it a uh, less dimension and exit the sketch and now we needed to use the extrude cut and make sure you select um, mid plane so our sketching plane is the front plane which is middle in this uh, base feature and we want to make a cut on the both sided uh, equal equal dimension cut on both sided so that's why we we select this uh, mid plane and the dimension is 0.1875 so this is the cut we just draw it next step we have to make an other cut and for that we are going to open the sketch on this on this face and we select this uh, polygon command we have to draw a polygon on this uh, on this plane on this face select the polygon and you know, auto track it and make sure you select this this point so it, so like that and other relation we can add it we can make this line vertical and now we needed to define the dimensions of this uh, this sketch
we go backward we can also make this line a horizontal line and now you can see it's moving moving through this this edge is passing it so we have to add a relation between this edge and this point so this point must be on this edge so add a relation press the control on your keyboard select this point and this edge the smaller edge of the circles in this view we can see the three edges so you have to select this uh, point and the smaller edge and add a coincident relation now you can see it's uh, define a uh, relation with the sketch and now we want to make a cut so for this cut we want to go to go through all all of this of this part till this surface and basically we don't want to cut that uh, sketch in, in that far in that form cutting the uh, inner side and leaving this this material basically we want it to cut the material outside all the material outside of this sketch so we just select this flip side to cut it will flip the side the all the other material which is not in the area of this sketch so you in the preview you can see that no it's cutting the outer material if we uncheck it it's cutting the inner area of the sketch so we want it in the other side and we want to use the up to surface basically we want to make a cut up to this surface so we just make the cut see this, this is the home gear shop design we can add the material and the colors to this design to make it look good thank you so much for this video subscribe my channel and if you have any question or you want to or want me to make a tutorial about any drawing please share me that drawing okay